So hey everyone, I'm uh, Mohammed Ashik. I I live in uh, Stockholm, Sweden, and I work as a solution architect, uh, predominantly focusing on Power Platform at Davanate, uh, Sweden. I'm also a business applications MVP. And these are my social handles. If you're if you have got any questions con connected with this demo, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Well, what I'm going to today talk about is. Uh, how to automate uh, the DLP creation uh, uh, policy uh, from an existing one. So in the, in the past, even I have uh, uh, spent a lot of time creating a uh, DLP policy from an existing policy to copy it uh, before I got to know about this option. So it's, it's, it becomes uh, quite cumbersome if you have to copy and as of now in the Power Platform Admin Center, uh, there is no option to uh, copy and, and create a new policy. So let, let's look at it, how we can actually do it and the different options you can use to copy and uh, create a new policy. So the, the first option is uh, Power, Power Automate Flow. So in Power Automate Flow, there is a connector by the name Power Platform for Admins, which has actions uh, to manage DLP policies. And then the second option is uh, DLP Editor. It's an app from uh, uh, Microsoft COE Starter Kit. Uh, it, has, it has a Canvas app, uh, which, can, which has a very nice interface uh, to copy an existing policy uh, and, and, and create a, create a new, new one. And then we have uh, PowerShell, uh, PowerShell uh, uh, module from uh, uh, Power Apps administration. So uh, there are there are a lot of uh, commandlets to man which helps manage the uh, environment, uh, Power Platform environments, and there are also a couple of uh, commandlets which helps us to uh, create, delete, and update a DLP uh, policy. And you can you can use this option uh, for advanced. Uh, uh, options like, for example, if you wanted to uh, add a custom connector uh, to a DLP policy, or if you wanted to uh, make changes uh, to a connector, uh, or whether to allow certain actions or not. So there are commandlets which helps you uh, uh, do it. All of these options, you have to be a tenant, ad tenant administrator or a Power Platform administrator to do it. So for the, the first one, uh, Power Automate Flow, uh, th there is a connector by, by the name Power Platform for Admins, uh, which has uh, options uh, to manage uh, the environmental lifecycle uh, life cycle capabilities, such as uh, creating an environment, deleting, or updating an environment. And, and on top of, top of these commandlets uh, uh, actions, there are also uh, actions which allows you to manage uh, DLP uh, policies. You can see here, uh, uh, for example, uh, the the get DLP policy. It allows you to uh, get information about an existing DLP uh, policies. It gives out information about uh, the the different act, different connectors in 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 different categories like uh, 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 blocked business, non-business category. And then we have uh, list DLP policies, V2 action. This allows you to list out all the policies which exist in the uh, tenant. And then uh, uh, create, update, and delete as it, as it suggests, uh, as it uh, sounds, it, it allows you to create, update, and delete uh, DLP policies. I, I've also got a short demo uh, with, with uh, you using, using this connector to create and, and create a new policy from an existing uh, policy. And, and the next option is the DLP editor app. So it is, as I said initially, it is from, uh, uh, from the uh, COE starter kit uh, solution, uh, and, and especially from the uh, core component solution. It, uh, it has this app called as DLP editor app. So this is the interface here, whatever you are seeing it here. Uh, so these are the uh, policies. Uh, which is in the uh, tenant, and as soon as you uh, get inside, you, you, you'll see options here to copy the policy. So copy it, as soon as you click, click on this button, 
you get to uh, you get this interface where you can enter the name of the new uh, policy and after you click on cl copy policy it's going to create a policy based on existing uh, one it also allows you to make changes uh, to an existing uh, dlp policy and and also it helps you to find out the impact uh, it, it causes on uh, the uh, canvas app and the different uh, cloud flow cloud flows so this app also uses the same connector power platform for admins the different actions within that connector to to create and copy the uh, new policy and then we have uh, powershell so powershell as you have many have already used the uh, uh, you use this uh, module power apps administration module uh, it has also got command lists which will help you to manage uh, dlp policies so get DLP uh, policy allows you to uh, get information about an existing policy and then uh, new and set allows you to create or update a policy. And then we have Veer, which is new power app uh, DLP connector configuration. So this uh, command lit allows you to al make changes to the connector actions from a connector. For example, if you if you take uh, an SQL connector, if you wanted to uh, block an action, delete, or if you wanted to block an action, update, you can you can do so with the help of this command. And also, uh, there is also an interface from the ad, uh, for, from the command uh, admin center uh, uh, to make that uh, change. And then we have this commandlet add custom connector to policy. So this allows you to add a, a custom connector to an existing uh, policy. And there is also a sample from uh, Microsoft, uh, which has got a lot of examples on how to create, update, or delete uh, from an existing policy or, or create a new policy, moving out uh, connections, moving out actions, connector actions from one group to another group. So there is a huge list of examples on this uh, sample. I've got, uh, I've given this uh, as a reference at end of the slide as well. Uh, I'll go uh, to the demo now. So here, uh, it's 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 uh, it's a small tenant. I've got here uh, three policies. Uh, one is a default DLP policy, uh, which uh, which is applied uh, to all the environments except except eight and if i edit this policy and if you have look at the, uh, if you look at the connectors i've got uh, 24 uh, uh, connectors in the business category all the non uh, uh, all the non blockable connectors are added here in the business and then in the non business category all connectors which is published from microsoft has been added here and all other remaining connectors are are blocked. So when it comes to the environment, uh, so we have here uh, eight 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 environments which is excluded from this DLP policy, and and uh, all of these policies, all of these environments have has got this policy applied. So what we are going to now do is uh, uh, create a copy of this DLP policy, the default DLP policy and apply that to this environment, EU Sweden Marketing uh, Dev. I've already copied the environment ID, which I'll, which I'll uh, show you in a while. So I'm going to the flow. So this is the flow which I have got here, with, with, which has got a couple of, uh, two other, only two actions to copy and create a new policy. I'm going to test the flow. So here, uh, I will first enter the current name of the policy, uh, which is uh, let me quickly copy the name default DLP policy. That is the existing DLP policy name. And then the new DLP policy, I'm going to make it as uh, DLP EU marketing uh, dev. Which, is, which will be dedicated to that environment, EU marketing uh, environment. And then the environment ID for EU marketing dev is 
This one I've already copied. I'm going to run the flow. Yeah, so you can see here the flow has run now. Let's quickly go check if the DLP policy has been created. Yeah, so this is the policy which got created now. Uh, DLP EU marketing uh, dev. You can also see that this policy is applied to this environment EU marketing dev. And if we edit this policy, you can see all the connectors which we had from the default uh, DLP business 24, uh, non business 214, and blocked. Uh, right? So you can also uh, uh, improvise this flow to control moving connectors from one category to another category uh, using uh, select functions. I've also written a blog post uh, uh, detailing about it and how to do it. Yeah, so I will I'll now quickly uh, take a uh, go through the uh, DLP editor app. So this is the app uh, from the uh, admin center. Uh, from the COE uh, uh, core component solution DLP editor. So here uh, you can see here, so the, the whatever policy I had in the tenant, I can uh, create a copy by clicking on this button. So here, enter, enter the policy name. Yeah, so after that, uh, after click on copy policy, it's, it's gonna uh, create a new policy based on this. So as I uh, already said, uh, this app from the COE starter kit, it uses the Power Platform for admins uh, connector. Right, so now I will quickly show uh, the sample uh, from the uh, from Microsoft for PowerShell. Uh, you can you can see here uh, this 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 is the link, and it has the it has the repo as well. So uh, the, the the sample has got all the examples like. Uh, uh, creating a DLP policy, copying it, deleting it. So everything is here. Uh, you can, you'll have to just go through this uh, and, th and then uh, uh, modify it according to your needs. And if you, and there is also an option uh, to run a PowerShell script from Azure Runbook Automation. And once you have deployed it to the Azure Runbook Automation service, and if you wanted to call that PowerShell script from a Power Automate flow. There are connectors which can help you uh, do that. So you can completely automate the process if you are going to use PowerShell uh, uh, for DLP automation. Right, so I will move over to the slide. I've given some references here uh, about the uh, admin connector and also the DLP uh, editor app. And I have all, also written a blog post uh, which has got details for well, whatever I've just given. Uh, uh, I have walked through on this demo. Uh, it's there on this uh, blog post as well. Yeah, if there are any questions, I will take it up uh, in the chat. Uh, over to you, uh, David. Awesome. Very, very cool stuff. Really fine example of combining technologies in a variety of ways, Mohammed. So thank you for sharing and giving us multiple ways in which this can be utilized together. Mm -hmm.